Okay, developers, did you ever have a competition with your friends to see who made a better website? Or did you just ever want to know how good your skills are and how well your website ranks? Well, I personally didn't want that. But this Chrome tool that I'm just about to show you made me do it. Oh dear. All jokes aside, this is a fantastic Chrome tool and if you've never heard of it, well you should definitely start using it because it's really really going to help you make your websites better and basically it will judge you on the performance of your website. The Chrome tool is called Lighthouse and if you just inspect on your web page, you'll be able to find it in the same tab where your console is located. And what that tool does, it allows you to generate a report of your website. And what does the report include and analyze? Well, it analyzes the generic performance of your website. It looks at how progressive your web app is. Does it adjust to the content on the page? It looks at the best practices. It looks at how accessible your website is. And it also looks at your search engine optimization to see how well your website will rank and how you can improve your website's ranking. Now let's have a look at this Chrome tool in action. For this specific example, I'm going to use the GitHub website. I'm going to click and inspect on the site. And here you get your toolbar at the top and you might not see it, so you might have to press the right arrows and select Lighthouse. From what you'll be able to see, you have categories on the right and we're highlighting that we wanted to look at all these categories for the performance test and then the device that we're going to be running it for. And I've selected that I wanted to run for mobile. Now all you have left to do is just generate the report. And as you can see, it's running the report for github.com and we're going to see how good GitHub is. And look at that. Performance 66, that is pretty poor of GitHub. Accessibility 99, best practices 92, search engine optimization 93, and progressive web apps no score. Now performance, we can see why is the performance so bad? Well, we can see that there is a total blocking time and time to be interactive, which is quite long. And some of the uh, opportunities to enhance the performance are properly sized images, reduce unused JavaScript, reduce unused CSS, serve images in next gen formats, remove duplicate modules in JavaScript bundles. But the worst one was eliminate render blocking resources. Very interesting. So you get a lot of information from this. Now we can look at the diagnostics. Does not use passive listeners to improve scrolling performance. Image elements do not have explicit widths and heights. Well, you can see that actually that is very important to specify on the web page. Let's move on to accessibility now. Accessibility is how accessible the website can be, obviously, by people that may have some sort of disability. Now, here we can see that under navigation, it says heading elements are not in a sequentially descending order. Well, there you go. That is one thing. Uh, you know, there might be other things for accessibility. I'm sure if you look at your own website, you're going to find other things that you can improve and then you can keep retesting for Lighthouse and see how your performance improves. Let's move on to best practices. Browser errors were logged to the console. Well, actually, if we look at the console, well, we do have browser errors right there. You can see all the errors that are appearing that are red and, you know, technically they shouldn't be logged to the console. Let's go back to Lighthouse and go back to best practices and then look at the SEO. SEO is pretty great, but links are not crawlable. Well, why are the links not crawlable? And it actually shows you the links that cannot be crawled to improve the search engine optimization. And then the progressive web apps, you have all different types of optimizations. For example, it tells you that, yes, you have the meta name viewport tag, uh, content is sized correctly for the viewport, uh, provides a valid Apple Touch icon, However, is not configured for a custom splash screen. Does not set a theme color for the address bar. So these are things that, you know, also uh, are important when you're designing your websites. If you've never seen Lighthouse, I highly suggest you check it out. It's an extremely useful tool to just, you know, have a play around with your website and see what else you can change to make it better and see that score go up and it's quite satisfying. Now, if you enjoyed this and you've never knew about this, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, make sure you leave a comment and make sure you subscribe to my channel for other videos like this. 
and thanks for watching.